Uh, another shakeup today in the saga of Detroit Public Schools. That's right. DPS emergency manager Darnell Early announced he is stepping down from his post at the end of the month. Let's get to Guy Gordon. He joins us now live. Guy, was this move expected? Uh, it wasn't unexpected, Carmen. Certainly not. The district's due to run out of money in April. Uh, conditions inside schools like Spain Elementary have become a national embarrassment, and he'd become a political liability up in Lansing, where Governor Snyder is trying to push through a very important financial package for Detroit schools. Nevertheless, to hear early tell it, he's leaving early because his mission's accomplished. At Spain Elementary, recently cited for 16 building code and health violations, including mold and vermin, Early's departure was announced over the PA. Everybody was um, cheering and yelling and stuff and saying, yay. But there's no mention of controversy in Early's resignation letter. He states his financial success, that absent debt payments, his financial controls would give the district a $13 million surplus this year. Quote, my role as an emergency manager has facilitated the expedited accomplishments of those tasks critical to long-term financial sustainability. And Governor Rick Snyder important. also gave early credit for cost containment and steps to stabilize enrollment. I don't see it as a mission accomplished. Union leaders see it differently. They say pictures from recent health inspections show early abdicated his responsibility to Detroit school children. I don't think Mr. Early put children first. I don't think he respected his employees. I don't think that we were his focus and we were not his priority. Back at Spain, parents are just hoping to see progress at their troubled school. Maybe it's best that he do resign and someone else come in and do the right thing, you know? Now, of course, uh, Darnell Early was the former emergency manager in Flint. Uh, that also eroded his credibility, especially up in Lansing. Uh, the Legislative Black Caucus had called for his ouster, saying they could not support Governor Snyder's legislation as long as he was in that role. Uh, with that obstacle removed, they say, yes, that is a step forward. But they also say that Early should not be uh, held, should continue to be held responsible for what happened in Flint and Detroit, and that he should testify before Congress as he was scheduled to do tomorrow and should be compelled to testify by Governor Snyder. We're live outside Spain Elementary. I'm Guy Gordon, Local 4. What are the plans? I mean, will Early be replaced with another emergency manager? Uh, it's unclear who right now, Carmen, but it will not be an emergency manager, at least not in name. They're calling it a transition chief. Why? Because there's such a short period of time here before an appointed board, appointed by the mayor and governor, takes over probably in July, and then an elected board in January. And we'll have to wait and see who that is. The union is hoping it's someone with an academic background. All right. Now, she said he was supposed to testify in Washington tomorrow, but we understand that he declined that invitation. Our guy Gordon reporting for us live.